Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the first inaugural address by George Washington. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this address, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, the first inaugural address uh, was very powerful. Uh, you know, it set the tone for uh, American history, American government, um, the true values of America, uh, what makes America, America. And now George Washington in this inaugural address, the things that he talked about or the things um, that he valued, uh, number one, he stated that America was a republic, you know, uh, the importance, um, he talked about the importance of protecting the republic of America, uh, of protecting our true and core values of unity. Um, because he strongly believed that um, in order for America to prosper and to exist, we definitely needed unity, um, not just amongst the states, but amongst the people. Um, he talked about, you know, not letting uh, democracy or capitalism or um, sectionalism um, or breaking into factions. Um, you know, that's something that from the core of America, um, you know, that's, you know, very important. I mean, think about the Civil War. Um, think about... Um, yeah, just, you know, just the Civil War alone, that, that's, it's something like that, that George Washington um, always said that, you know, if we break into groups, if we um, don't agree on things, we need to find compromises. Um, you know, the Civil War was a huge one that, that literally broke apart the, the country, uh, where you had the North versus the South, um, you know, fighting over um, slavery now. That was a very important battle, a very important to Black people. Uh, to, to the black people in America's freedom. That was extremely very important. Um, and, and George Washington, he talked about this within his first address um, about how important unity is. And, you know, the United States, we know that to be true because we went to war uh, with each other to, um, you know, make sure that uh, unity existed, that the union stayed strong. Um, so unity was a very important part of this inaugural speech. Um, he talked about the Republic. He talked about the form of government. He talked about American virtue um, and how, you know, we need to have morals um, and follow truth and, and, you know, value liberty, uh, freedom, independent freedom, um, you know, the freedom to conduct business. Uh, he talked ab about international relationship between America and different countries. Uh, he believed that America should stay neutral uh, in most things and, and not get into entanglements. Uh, with different countries and different policies and different uh, partnerships. Um, he believed that America should remain a, a sovereign and independent nation, not to get too involved with other countries, not to get in bed with other countries and put America's sovereignty and, independent, and independence at risk. Um, so George Washington, these are the things that he valued. Um, within this inaugural speech, one thing that's very amazing about it, he did recognize God. Um, he, he definitely outlined how important God was uh, to the creation of America and how grateful we are and that he is uh, because I mean, if it wasn't for God, America wouldn't exist. Um, so the, a good portion of this inaugural speech has to do with um, George Washington thanking the people for picking him as president, um, thanking the U.S. for existing, thanking uh, the citizens for what they stand for, thanking God for allowing him to be president. Um, and just being grateful that, um, that, that he was the first president of the United States and that the people trusted him uh, to be a good president. Um, I mean, before America became a nation, some people thought that George Washington could have uh, probably become the king of the United States. Uh, because, you know, at that time in the world, uh, kings were still very popular. Rulers were still very popular. Uh, but when it came to George Washington in the United States, government uh, was something that's essential. And... You know, America was a new nation, a young nation, a, a nation that had a bright future. And for it to continue having a bright future, you needed somebody to set us off, um, to start the race strong. And George Washington definitely starts it strong. Um, this speech is him being very humble, thanking the people, thanking America, telling us that we need to focus on liberty, focus on unity, um, focus on not becoming fragmented. Um, and breaking off into pieces, making sure that the union stays strong, making sure that we stay connected to one another, uh, making sure that we deal with peace and diplomacy and not with war, making sure that we don't get entangled with other countries, 
uh, and making sure that um, we remember that America is a republic. America is definitely a republic. Uh, we have a representative-based government. Um, it's a republic with um, some democratic principles. That That's the way we can understand American government. It's not a democracy. It's not, you know, everybody has a say. It is a representative government with some democratic principles. America is a republic. Uh, and, um, you know, that's something that we need to definitely to understand about America, that it is a republic. Um, so, you know, within this... Um, uh, within the structure, I mean, uh, George Washington here, um, he definitely uh, wants, like within this inaugural address, he sets up the values, the tone uh, that, um, you know, that he believes in. Um, he sets up uh, the focus for America and what he expects of America. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it sets up uh, what he wants to do during his, the first, uh, you know, his first um, administration. Um, so... Um, that's really this this inaugural address. It's him thanking the people. It's him, um, you know, definitely clarifying what America is, that we are a republic, uh, that we're not a, a democracy, that we're not anything else. We're a republic with some democratic principles. I mean, I mean, think about the U.S. government, for example, in terms of deeper meaning here. Uh, we don't vote people into office by the popular vote. When we vote for a president, it, it falls in the lap of the electoral college we don't vote you know the popular vote doesn't say who's president it's the electoral college who decides who's president so for that reason we are a republic not a democracy um, in a democracy everybody gets a voice and that can get very bloody and the majority in a democracy always wins the, the minority never gets a voice but in a republic um in a republic you have the, specifically in the United States, you have the Electoral College, every state gets votes, um, and it's not just, you know, who has the most that wins. Um, so that's that's very important uh, within um, the system of the United States. Um, so this, this clearly sets up, this inaugural address clearly sets up uh, the America's values, America's morals, America's dreams, you know, having free markets, um, having uh, an opportunity to create businesses, to um, to create industries, uh, making sure that people have individual rights, making sure that people um, are not, you know, taken advantage of by corporations, making sure that America doesn't become a complete democracy, um, and ma making sure that America stays a unity and and that it has liberty. Um, so those are the key points, the, the, key, the key things that Washington talks about in his first inaugural address. Um, and yeah, that's my summary analysis. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.